In this video, we will learn about the properties of equality and congruence. Let's start with the reflexive property. This is a property of both equality and congruence. The reflexive property basically says that anything is equal or congruent to itself. So for example, five is equal to five, or 20 is equal to 20. Or as far as congruence, you could say that line segment AB is congruent to line segment AB. You will use the reflexive property of congruence most often when you prove that two triangles are congruent. The next property is the symmetric property, which says that if two things are equal, so for example, if 2x equals 6, then you can switch the order. 6 also equals 2x. So you're allowed to switch the order in an equation, and it will still be the same thing. Same thing for congruence. So for example, if you have two segments and AB is congruent to BC, then it also has to be true that BC is congruent to AB. So you can switch the order of that statement and it has to also be true. The transitive property is sort of like a linking property. It's like if you know two things, if A equals B and B equals C, then A has to equal C. So if A equals B and B equals C, the first has to equal the third thing. Same exact thing if we're talking about congruence. So for example, if line segment AB is congruent to line segment BC and line segment BC is congruent to line segment CD, then the conclusion you can draw is that AB has to be congruent to CD because everything's congruent. The substitution property of equality says that if two things are equal, so for example, if A equals B, then you can always replace A with B anytime you have an A. So if A equals B and A minus 6 equals 11, then also B minus 6 will equal 11. You can replace the A that was in the original equation with the B because they are equal. That's like substitution. The next four properties are all just properties of addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, just basic uh, order of operations. The addition property basically says that you can add the same thing to both sides of the equation and that's okay. Subtraction, multiplication, and division are all the same idea, so let's just talk through them. So for addition, it would be like if you knew that a plus 7 equals b, then you could also say that a plus 7 plus c equals b plus c. You can add c to both sides and you're still good. Same thing with subtraction. You could say that a plus 7 minus c would equal b minus c. As long as you subtract the same thing from both sides, you're okay. And again, that's called the subtraction property of equality. Same thing for multiplication. If you had a equals b, then a times c will equal b times c. Because you're just multiplying the same thing to both sides, it has to stay equal. Uh, same thing again with division. So if a equals b, then a divided by c will equal a divided by, sorry, b divided by c. So you can divide both sides by the same thing. The last property you need to know is the distributive property. And I know that you've used this in algebra, but it basically says that you can distribute in the case where you have a constant or coefficient outside of a binomial or a trinomial or some polynomial and you can distribute in order to rewrite that expression. So in this case you would have 2x plus 12 for example. So you just multiply out the 2 by both terms in the parentheses. So all of these properties are important to know so that you can provide good justifications in proofs. It might seem like a lot to remember, but one thing to keep in mind is a lot of it is sort of intuitive. Like for example, the addition property. It's just that you're allowed to add the same thing to both sides of the equation and you're all good. And that's the same thing for all of these operations uh, properties. So if you just remember some of the key ones like reflexive and transitive, a lot of them will come pretty naturally.